Welcome back. My name is Lindsay Thomas, and I'm going to be showing you one of my painting techniques that I like to use for therapy called positive through negative. I have five tips I'm going to share with you. I'm not going to call them rules because with art, I kind of feel like there shouldn't be any rules. That's the point of it. Art is about personal expression. And as soon as you put walls around that expression, you box yourself in and you're not allowed to go as far as you should. So first things first, before you sit down and start to paint, set your mood. That means something different, not only for everyone, but also for every time you sit down, because I don't know about you, I don't always feel the same. Choose a music that will enhance the mood that you are looking to attain, not the mood that you're already in. So if you're depressed, don't go listen to depressing songs and put yourself more into a depression, right? The reason this process works so well for me is because sometimes I start with such high expectations and in this process, you should have no expectations and just keep it super random. Believe it or not, randomness can be very difficult for some people, especially if you work in a very linear job. This is gonna really take you out of your comfort zone. You're gonna have to step out of your ego for a moment, maybe just pick up some paint and smash it on the paper just like I do and then just start moving it around with no intention of making anything specific. Just see what happens. Think of your page as a playground. Just have fun. Mix up the colors. See what happens when you put wet colors on wet colors or see what happens when you put a color down, let it dry and then put a wet color over it. You can find out all kinds of funky new things that you can do. It'll be awesome. Don't be afraid to mix it up. You need to explore your colors. You're not gonna know how to put colors together in the future if you don't start somewhere. So if you really wanna start watercolor painting, but you've never done it before, and you don't know how to start, and you don't know where to start, and you don't even think you could probably paint you know, a sunset because it would just be too much, too overwhelming for you. Start with randomness. This is a great place to start, abstract art. Find your own abstract technique. I found mine actually because it was I was painting really sloppily and I had paint that was dripping on the paper and I needed to pull it. And so I started pulling it and putting it into another space that was right next to it. And before you know it, I have this very interesting array of colors that has developed itself through the process that I didn't necessarily think about beforehand, but it comes out really cool. And sometimes like right there, I pushed it up too close and it actually touched the other space. That's fine. Let it do it. Whatever. It's apparently supposed to do that. So just go with it. Leave your empty spaces. Other than that, you shouldn't worry too much about where things are, what shapes they are, just making sure that you're leaving some crack of space, empty space, negative space. It's gonna make all the difference. It's gonna make it look sort of mosaic. It'll kind of have a stained glass window look to it. And so just play. I mean, this is your playground. Like I said, play around, do whatever you want. Um, there's nothing predetermined here. That's the purpose of it. Wait and see what happens. Be surprised. Also, I'd like to mention that I'm using a dagger brush. And if you've never used a dagger brush, they're very thick where it meets the handle, but then it goes to a very thin point. So it's really easy to get a thin to thick line without actually having to lift your, your brush off of the paper. 
And if you flip the brush over upside down, you'll get different jagged edges from it and stuff. So it can be very helpful with this random technique. Well, that's all the time I have for today. This painting's just about done. Once it's dried, I'm gonna put it in my store online. Visit us at www.denimusinc.com. Follow us here on our YouTube channel by liking this. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this blessed your day. I hope that you find some peace through this process. And I'd love to see what you make. So if you come up with a, an awesome painting that you just have to share, please share it with me. I really want to be a part of your success. Thank you for watching. See you next time.